What's going on guys? Back from the dead. Except I didn't die. I have had a very busy weekend. And that's why I haven't even updated, gosh, what was it like last Wednesday's vlog? I've been super, super busy, hence I haven't finished editing or publishing or anything, any of these vlogs uh, recently. I've got like a slew full of them to upload. One from last Wednesday, like five days ago. And also probably four or five of the other ones that were like the first ones that I ever did from, gosh, like a couple months ago now that I have not actually put back up because they were from the old computer but anyway I had a couple of long shifts at Macy's I also had work it just worked out that basically I would work all day at Macy's I wasn't going to the TRBC to work because of that the time that I had left I would spend with Meg as much as I could because she left today to go back home for Christmas break because Liberty University has Christmas break for about a month so I'm gonna be taking this time to vlog to work to catch up on things to get ahead of things if possible getting ready for 2016 figuring things out because because I'm still looking at moving down to Florida at the end of the summer. There are a few things to plan with that. Even though some people plan to move, some people just go for it. So I don't know, I'm kind of probably gonna be a little bit in the mix, but I would like to be able to plan a little bit as far, especially like the financial part, just to have it ready. It's just been so busy that I didn't even like have time so much for myself really. Last night was my first night where I could actually catch up on stuff, answer some emails and get cracking on making this week's schedule, which I did for the most part. I got like probably 80 percent of the way through it. I was also tracking some other things, but it happened to be during the time that Miss Universe pageant was on, which is crazy. What happened with Steve Harvey at the end, saying the wrong name first of the country who won, but I don't believe that it was entirely his fault. I don't know if you guys saw the actual card that he had to read off of, but it was pretty poorly designed. It kind of looked like whoever would have won. That little section where it said the winner of Miss Universe 2015, it kind of looked like just a footnote of the card, almost like they had been scattered off on their own out of the winner's circle so it was a little odd I mean it's just an event that they spend so much time and so much attention is attracted to it and so much money is poured into it you would think that something simple like that would be much better designed some more color into it arrange it a little bit better I mean heck it was like here's the second runner up here's the first runner up after that over here is like in tiny letters the winner Philippines no wonder he had a hard time sure they were divided by here's the middle okay well I think that they could be at least centered so he could read from the bottom and go up to the winner. Does my voice is making me sound like I'm a little bit sick? I, I had one person at work tell me that today. I'm not sick. I'm not allergic to anything, so it's not allergies. I'm feeling fine. Like, just a tad bit tired, so I want to take some pre-workout before my brothers and I hit up the gym, but, like, I'm fine. I'm healthy. I take vitamins, and I get enough rest every night. It might look like I'm a little bit tired because I have this light shining in my eye, and I got plenty of sleep. I woke up feeling refreshed. I'm going to be going to the gym now, probably, hopefully soon. I will catch up with you guys and hopefully get, get these vlogs edited and rolling for you. I'm home from the gym. Jason and John and I went. And Jason left early because he went to see Star Wars again. I'll talk about that. But also, I'm going to see it tomorrow morning as well for my second time. It was so good to go back to the gym. A lot of people are probably like, how can it be a good feeling to go back to the gym? When you're like me and you've worked out consistently uh, for at least like three or four days a week for the last about two years, two and a half years actually, you start to miss it after three or four days of not going. So that was me tonight. I worked shoulders and I'm getting my routine back since A, Megan's out of town, and B, I finally had a decent work schedule because the weekend is done. So let me talk about my weekend. Thursday, actually, you know what, I can't even really remember. I have to go and look at uh, everything that I did. Um, it was a lot. I actually talked to some guy about how, um, just, you know, what I do tonight because uh, he was asking me, you know, like he had only been to Lynchburg once and tonight he happened to be watching me work out and stuff, asking me about like who I am and how long I've been working out and like what's a healthy restaurant to eat around here. Just, you know, answering his questions. Look at my schedule here. Macy's is pretty cool with the way that they do things where you can pick up a shift and stuff, but I actually cannot see certain things. Right now my, my thing is weird because I'm seasonal. I actually cannot look at certain things for some reason, and I've reported this a few times. Wednesday, I worked at like 11 to 5. Thursday, I went to TRBC. We went to the movie that night. Star Wars was at 8 o'clock that night. We were in line by 5 o'clock. We waited about probably closer to 2 hours because we went 
wasn't, it, thankfully it was at the mall. We were able to get out of line. We were taking shifts on like who was getting out of line and stuff and who would stay in line. And so thankfully we brought in the people that we could save a spot in line. And so some of us would go and get food, bring it back, and then the others would go get food because not everybody wanted the same thing. And um, some people wanted to just be able to get out of the line and be able to walk around a little bit. And then Friday, the next day, I didn't go to TRBC at all. I had a 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. shift. The, the first little while was okay, like, because Friday and Saturday we had, like, some of the biggest sales. It was almost like Black Friday all over again. So I worked 9 to 6. After that, I was just, like, I was tired. I came home and nap for a while, and then Megan and I hung out. And Saturday, I worked 8 to 5. So it was two days that were each, like, 9 hours at Macy's. And Sunday, I also worked, uh, yeah, yesterday, uh, 11 to 5. By the time I was done today, so four hours at Macy's, four hours at TRBC, but as much as I love Macy's, I'm very glad to have a few days off. Someone was saying that after working about two or three days in a row, you need to take like a day off from retail because you'll just burn out, especially if you're working like eight or nine hour shifts. I like working in IT better. Not only is it what I studied, but it's been part of my life for more years. It's been part of me for a longer amount of time than retail has. I feel more comfortable. I understand it more than I do retail. They're very different worlds. You got to pick stuff you like. Working a full-time job, a seasonal job, you know, having a girlfriend, going to the gym, balancing social life, just trying to stay on track and everything. But not everybody can do that. I have one friend who does a little bit more than that because he has four jobs and also goes to the gym, but he doesn't have a girlfriend. I did go to see Star Wars. I give it a 10 out of 10. We'll see it again as I very well am tomorrow morning. So hopefully it's not going to be like, you know, too crowded or anything. I'm probably going to call them tonight just to make sure that it's not too many people. Um, they can generally tell us how full it is on the percentage because when I went to buy the tickets for the 8 o'clock showing just a few weeks before uh, last Thursday, uh, it was already 92% full. That's a rather full theater. They used every single theater except for one to do Star Wars. The other one I think had like Hateful Eight or something like that or the new Chris Hemsworth movie. I am going to be calling it a night. I'm going to be editing vlogs. I just wanted to catch up with you guys because it's been a while. It feels like it's been a long time since I vlogged and I'm sorry. I've just been busy. I, I love doing this for you guys. I honestly do. Otherwise I wouldn't do it. It's like, what, what's the purpose of doing it if I don't like to do it? And so I like making time to do this. So I'm going to be down in this protein shake. I already done a little bit of it, but it's got a lot left in this class. This is a new mug that Megan and I got when we went to TRBC's uh, staff Christmas party. I am going to enjoy my protein shake and then I will catch you guys later. So have a good night. See ya.